A, not C. And this is line three, disjunction elimination. That's the elimination of a disjunction, is to name both of the components of that disjunction. That makes it clear there. So now we have not A and A both claimed in this set. So this set is wrong, cannot be possible. And we also have C and not C claimed. So this set is not possible. So all the possible sets of this truth tree are truth functionally inconsistent, just meaning wrong, can't be uh, true, they're false, they're inconsistent. Okay, the next sentence we'll do is in parentheses, not B and C. Parenthesis, non, B, ampersand, C, parenthesis. Ampersand, parenthesis, A or B. So, and, either A or B. So, B fails, and C obtains, and either A or B obtain. Okay? Line one. Line two, A and C obtain. Now these are our assumptions. So on line three, we're going to, on lines three and four, we're going to take this sentence apart. We're going to say not B and C. We're going to say A or B. And both of those are line one, line one comma, ampersand decomposition. So now each sentence we have we can claim is true because it says it's true so far. Line 5. We're going to take from line 2 our ampersand decomposition and we're going to say A occurs. So line 2 ampersand decomposition. Now somewhere we're either going to prove that this can all be true or that it can't be. So on line 6 we're going to do an ampersand decomposition and get C because we have A and C, now we have A and we have C and we can work with those so that's line 2 ampersand decomposition again line 7 uh, not B we get from the ampersand decomposition on line 3 line 8 we get C from ampersand decomposition line 3. And line 9 is where we uh, decompose uh, the disjunction from line 4. So line 4, disjunction, decomposition. So we write down our two possibilities in our disjunction. Either A can happen according to our disjunction, or B can happen. But one of them, it says, has to happen. Now, can we find an A in here? Yeah, we can find an A, so we're okay there. That's fine. Can we find a B? We find a not B. So this ends in a contradiction, B and not B. So that could not be the case. So we know if we go all the way through this truth tree, we know that B has to fail, and we know that A has to obtain if these sentences are to be true. And if we, always, if we get an X behind A here, if it comes out to a contradiction also, then we know there's, it's a not truth functionally consistent set. We know it contradicts. So when we come to an open branch where we don't have to end with a contradiction, we can just leave it because it's consistent. That's called an open branch of the tree, and we know that that set of truth value assignments is consistent. In other words, we know there's no contradictions if we assign A to true all the way up through. For our next truth tree, we're going to do a set with three assumptions. An assumption is uh, line one A and not B. A and not B. 
Assumption line two is it is not the case that B or not A, it is not the case, parenthesis, that B or not A, and line three, B and A or, B and A or, B and not A, B and not A. And these are our assumptions, semantic uh, taken for granted, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and this one, we're going to go eight lines before we do a big branch where we have to have more uh, lines. So we could draw a line there just mentally. We don't need to on our actual truth tree, but mentally you could put a line there and say from here on out it's our work. Now, what we want to do, of course, is decompose this thing down to only atomic sentences. So we're going to start with line one, of course, and we're going to get A, and then we're going to get not B, and both those are line one ampersand decomposition. On line six, we're going to get not B, and on line 7, we're going to get not not A, 